this is a brand new media data center hub that you can now buy from pergear.com. I was sent this and this is a really cool tech gadget that I wanted to use for all of my content and they were very kind enough to send this to me. Essentially, this is a card reader station which has this nice modular design to be able to set up your SD cards, TF cards, USB, anything you like to basically transfer all of your high quality content into one particular hub and then connect that to your laptop, whether you have a Mac, Windows or even an iPad. Alongside this, you can actually purchase separate modules. I have all four that are currently available. And these ones include a CF Express Type B reader module, an SD card reader module, a TF card reader, and a USB extending module. Now these are all of the four modules that are currently available, but very soon they will be releasing two additional modules, one being a CF Express Type A card reader, and the next one being a CFast T7 SSD 2.0 card reader. So keep an eye out of when they are available on the pergear.com website. Now let's open up each of these modules. You'll see they'll come with a high quality USB-C cable, and then you have the module itself. Before I dive into the modules, let's take a look at the actual card reader hub. And here it is. So you have four slots here, all powered by USB-C inside. You have yourself the button here to release the module once you do have them connected inside. Now you have a little button here called light. When you press this, once it is connected with the power cable, the logo there called pans, this actually lights up as well. It's a nice little effect in case you are using this maybe in darker conditions, but you just want to maybe light it up to make it look cool. You have the 100 watt as an input port, and that basically allows you to get power into the hub itself. It doesn't come with any adapter, which is 100 watt cable, but you can actually get one yourself and power this on if you'd like. But then you also have the type C, which is an output port for transferring the data and supplying power directly to this with your Mac, PC or iPad. So I will be connecting it with the high quality USB-C cable that comes with the hub, connecting this to all of the modules and to my MacBook Pro. Each of these modules has a USB-C port on the back and then on the front you have the slots that relate to the actual type of card reader that this is. In terms of each of these modules, you can just take them with you in your backpack, in your pocket as an independent card reader. You just take the cable with you, connect it to your laptop at any time if you just want specifically that one module to transfer content with that particular type of card. Let's go ahead and connect all of these via the USB port into the hub. They very easily click into place. Once they are locked into place, to remove them, you just need to press the button at the top and then they will pop out. So very quick and easy design. And to connect it to your laptop, I will connect this to the Type-C port and then the other end to my MacBook Pro. Now, one of the benefits of having something like this is if you're a photographer, a filmmaker, a content creator, where you have multiple recording equipment, multiple cameras and devices, if you want to transfer your content, then you sometimes may have to do it one by one using a simple adapter and it could take a lot of time and it is very time consuming. If you have cameras that do have SD cards, that TF cards, you have something that you want to transfer via USB, this allows you to do it all in one go and at a very fast speed. Some of the key features of this hub includes a 10 gigabits high speed transmission, which means in very high file sizes, it can actually take only a couple of seconds to transfer an entire gigabyte of a file. One comparison I also want to show you the difference that this makes by using this hub compared to a simple adapter is to connect a USB and an SD card and showcase the difference in the write and the read speeds of this hub. So I have a very simple adapter that I bought from Amazon for an SD card and a TF card slot. And I'm going to use a very basic USB-C to USB adapter to connect one of my USB pen drives just to showcase the difference with the speed of using this directly on my MacBook and then using the PANS Media Data Center Hub. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's do some tests. Starting off with my SD card that I use on my Sony mirrorless camera, I'm going to now connect this to a standard basic SD card adapter you can see on the right hand side connected to my MacBook Pro. I'm using this app to test out the read and write speeds. Let's go ahead and run the test. So there you have it. The write speed on this is around 78 megabytes per second and the read speed is about 85 megabytes per second. So let me eject this and now put it into the PANS Media Hub. Okay, take this out. 
swap it over into the SD module. This will now appear on my benchmarking tool and I'm going to run the test again. And pretty much immediately you can see how much of a difference this actually makes. The write speed is at 99, almost 100 megabytes per second, and the read speed is 147 megabytes per second. That is a very big improvement, especially if you are shooting a lot of content in 4K, where you're gonna have many, many gigabytes of data. The last thing you want is for the transfer to take a long time. So you can see the read and write speeds are a big improvement, which I would say is very beneficial for people that have multiple recording devices. Now let's just have another test with a standard USB disc, and let's test this out with the USB module. Okay, gonna connect my SanDisk 32 gigabyte USB. Let's run the test. So there we have it, 20 megabytes for the write speed and 38 for the read speed. Let's go ahead, eject this and move it over to the Pans Media Hub. Let's rerun the speed test. Now the read speed was very fast here. You can see 140 megabytes and then double the write speed as well. So getting something that's you know at least twice as faster, this makes a massive difference. And I'm super happy with this. But not only that, one of the key benefits is that I can transfer things from my USB, from my SD card, from my CF Express and TF cards all at once. And that makes it a big benefit because if they are transferring all very quickly, I can go in and start editing all of my shots and videos and photos very quickly without having to spend quite a bit of time waiting for everything to be done as part of your content workflow. So for me, that is a very big bonus and I'm super impressed and happy with the way this works. So that's it guys, all in all, I'm very happy with this. I am going to use this for all of my data transfer from my cameras so I can get my content workflow done a lot quicker. Check out the Pergear website and the link in the description. I also have a 10% discount code for you guys if you are interested in buying this. If you are the person that does have a lot of filming equipment and you do a lot of photography on various different cameras, for me personally, this is a must have. Check out the latest pricing information as well. Make sure to subscribe, I review tech gadgets like this all the time. Make sure to like this video, and as always, if you do have any questions about this, drop a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.